Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we're diving into 10 genuinely concerning facts about gaslighting. Gaslighting is a term that describes a form of psychological manipulation in which a person or group makes a victim doubt their own memory, perception, or judgment. It can be incredibly damaging to the victim's mental health and sense of self-worth. In this video, we'll discuss 10 facts about gaslighting that you should know. From the definition of gaslighting to the warning signs and its effects, get ready to learn more about this harmful form of manipulation. So, let's get started. Number 1. Gaslighting doesn't have to be deliberate. Gaslighting is the process of making someone question their own sanity or reality by deliberately manipulating their environment and interactions. It is based on a belief that it is acceptable to overwrite another person's reality and can happen on both a cultural and interpersonal level. In recent years, gaslighting has become increasingly prevalent in media and culture, with an emphasis on denying or downplaying the truth in order to maintain power and control. Examples of gaslighting can be seen in the way hate crimes are often portrayed as isolated cases of mental illness, or in the way domestic violence has only been seen as a serious crime in the past 40 years. Gaslighting is a form of manipulation that is used when intimidation is no longer acceptable, and it is essential to recognize and address the underlying beliefs that give rise to it in order to create a more equitable society. Number 2. Manipulation and gaslighting are distinct behaviors. Gaslighting is a type of manipulation, but it is not the only type. While all forms of manipulation attempt to influence another person's behavior, gaslighting is more insidious. It seeks to change someone's identity and their ability to trust themselves and their perception of the world. While all forms of manipulation can be damaging and lead to a decrease in self-esteem, gaslighting can have more lasting, devastating effects. It is important to recognize the difference between gaslighting and other forms of manipulation and to take steps to protect yourself from its effects. Number 3. Gaslighting does not always involve anger or intimidation. The gaslight effect refers to a tactic of psychological abuse known as gaslighting, which is a form of manipulation used to control and oppress the victim. One type of gaslighting, called glamour gaslighting, involves the gaslighter showering the victim with special attention, without ever fulfilling the victim's needs. This can leave the victim feeling alone and hollow. Another type of gaslighting sees the gaslighter transform into the victim, often resulting in the victim apologizing and backing down in order to appease the gaslighter. Unfortunately, this is a common experience for those in a gaslighter or gaslighter relationship. Gaslighting is a difficult form of abuse to identify, and it can leave victims feeling confused and disempowered. It is important to remember that you are not to blame for the way someone else is treating you, and that you are not alone. If you feel like you may be in a gaslighting relationship, it is important to reach out for support from a trusted friend or family member. Number 4. It is normal to not be able to remember what happened. Gaslighting can be a serious form of abuse, and it often leads to memory loss. This is something that one of our readers, we'll call her Jane, has experienced firsthand. Jane was in a relationship with an abuser who accused her of abuse while they were together, and even afterward. Jane knew something was wrong, but was unable to pinpoint it. She noticed black spots in her memory and was filled with guilt and self-doubt. Jane eventually left the relationship and began to piece together her memories. She found that she had traits that needed to be changed, but she could not find what it was that her abuser saw in her. She could not find the narcissist, the manipulator, the homewrecker. It is important to note that memory loss is a sign of gaslighting and that it is normal to experience this. It is a warning sign that it is time to leave the relationship. Jane was brave to leave her abusive situation, and we hope that her story can help others in similar situations. Number 5. There are distinct stages, and these stages can progress after the relationship is over. The gaslighter does not simply want to be right, but also wants the other person to believe that they are right, even when their arguments are ridiculous. In the initial stage of gaslighting, the victim may know that the gaslighter is being ridiculous, but still argues with them, trying to be understood and seeking their approval. In this stage, the victim still has confidence in their own belief, but unknowingly puts that belief up for debate. As the gaslighting progresses, the victim starts to consider the gaslighter's point of view first and tries desperately to get them to see their own point of view. 
The objective becomes to prove that they are still good, kind, and worthwhile, and the victim becomes more and more afraid of what the gaslighter's perspective of them sets about them. In the final stage, the victim begins to question themselves and their own judgment, becoming consumed with understanding and solving the gaslighter's criticisms. Number 6. Gaslighters Try to Change History It is a dangerous form of abuse that can have lasting psychological effects on its victims. Gaslighters will often distort facts, lie, and change their stories to fit their own narrative. They may also deny events ever happened or suggest that memories and experiences are just imagined. This can cause victims to doubt their own reality and leave them feeling confused and powerless. Gaslighters may also attempt to change history in order to make themselves look better and their victims feel worse. It is a powerful and dangerous form of manipulation, and it is important that victims of gaslighting get help and support to recover. Number 7. Gaslighters are very quick to blame. Gaslighting is a form of emotional abuse that is often difficult to spot from the perspective of the victim. Gaslighters can be very manipulative, making their victims take the blame for things they may not have done or even making them feel guilty for small things. This can create a sense of self-doubt and guilt in the victim, making them believe that the abuse they are receiving is deserved. It is important to remember that no one deserves to be emotionally abused and it is never the victim's fault. If you or someone you know is being subjected to gaslighting, it is important to reach out for help. Number 8. Ignorance plays a part. Ignorance can be a powerful tool for gaslighting victims. Gaslighters may ignore the victim's feelings, thoughts, and experiences in order to make them feel as though their opinions, beliefs, and emotions are wrong and unimportant. This form of gaslighting may manifest in a variety of ways, such as the perpetrator disregarding the victim's input in conversations, failing to listen and take into account the victim's perspective or not acknowledging the victim's presence in a room. This type of behavior is intended to make the victim feel as though their feelings and experiences are invalid and can be damaging to their self-esteem. Ignorance is a form of gaslighting that can have serious consequences if it is not addressed. Number 9. You must confront the threat. You must be able to leave, even if you don't. Confronting the threat of gaslighting can be difficult and daunting, but it is a necessary step to take if you want to be free from its grip. It is important to acknowledge and grieve the things that make us feel trapped and to confront the fears that the threats produce. This can be a long process, but it will be worth it in the end. It is possible to break free from the cycle of gaslighting and to find strength and freedom. Even if you don't want to leave, you must be able to, and that starts with confronting the threat. Number 10. Gaslighting may be amplified in families, poly relationships, and other groups. No one wants to be the bad guy, but sometimes it's necessary to stand up for yourself and end a relationship when it's no longer healthy. It can be scary to face the shame and fear that comes with a group manipulating and abusing you, but it's essential to protect yourself and others from any kind of exploitation or abuse. When it comes to polyamorous relationships, we need to be aware of the power dynamics at play and be mindful of ways we could unintentionally enable abuse. Let's make sure we are creating safe spaces for everyone by not participating in relationships that hurt someone's self-esteem. Doing the hard work of ending a relationship can be hard, but in the end, it's worth it for the sake of our own health and the health of the people around us. That's all for today. Thanks for watching our video on 10 Genuinely Concerning Facts About Gaslighting. We hope you learned something new and can use this knowledge to identify and protect yourself against this form of psychological manipulation. Be sure to subscribe to keep up with our latest videos. Until next time, stay safe and be kind to yourself.